We all just trying to get by that today. Ain't no show strain on our lives, so what's up? First, I know everybody wants an update. Still cannot taste or smell. <laughs> ha ha. Can't taste or smell, y'all. Um, I don't feel bad, but I can't taste or smell. I went to the pharmacy this morning and got a um, refill on allergy pills as well as some Flonase. I'm about to take some now because I really, really, y'all know, again, I already said, y'all know how I love food. Me not being able to taste or smell just is not lit. It's not lit. I don't feel bad today, but I also don't feel like how I felt in the last vlog. Not going to work out or nothing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I really, really <laughs> just want to get better, like, all the way. When I was at um, Walmart today in line for the freaking pharmacy, I was sweating so profusely. Like, I was just so hot. I don't know why. I came home to my temperature. Y'all, it's 97 point something. So, I don't have a fever. I haven't had a fever since... The time I showed you guys, and it only got to 100. It didn't rise above 100. So, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. But I went to Walmart because I'm like, sorry. As much as I love to make what I eat in the days, there will not be no good interesting ones until I can taste or smell. Because what I look like wasting Trader Joe's and steaks and stuff on some dull ass taste buds, I'm not going to do it. So, I went to Walmart and, y'all... I had some noodles, child, because I was like, I mean, I got to eat. I can't starve. I do. I am hungry. My stomach still work. My taste buds just don't. So I'm like, but I don't want to waste my good food. I love food so much that I don't want to waste me not being able to taste it and cook it. So I got ramen, y'all. I'm going to be eating ramen. I hope this goes away by tomorrow. This is day two because it kind of started two days ago. So maybe this is day three, but it's like started at night. So I'm just going to count this as day two. And I'm finna be eating ramen, y'all. But I am gonna make, like, the laziest, easiest chicken and dumpling recipe y'all ever seen in y'all life. So, big ups for that. We finna do that because we're gonna put it in the crock pot. It's gonna be in there for a while. I actually may not do it right now because it's, like, 11 a.m. Um, I need to go in. I don't need to go and do nothing. I need to just think and be like, hello, how long is this gonna really take? Cause I'm not finna eat this no time soon. I stocked up on these body armors, y'all. Y'all, I absolutely love these. I think I told you about these before, um, about how I had the low sugar ones because I was just drinking so much of these and I can't taste them. <laughs> but I bought them anyway because they're full of electrolytes and vitamins and maybe I'll taste it a little bit. I don't know, wishful thinking. So I got strawberry banana mostly and strawberry watermelon because that's my favorite freaking flavor. If y'all can find these, I'm sure you can. They're not really hard to find. Like I got these at Walmart, but they're always at Kroger Public. Even the gas station has like bigger bottles of these, so it shouldn't be hard to find. I got about 10 of them because I'm trying to get myself together. So I'm going to take some allergy pills. I'm taking two, even though it say take once daily. I really swear, I think these are my allergies because the way my nose is running on one side and one side stuffed up, like, y'all, I'm not even really coughing. I'm kind of sneezy. I don't know. Anyway, um, I got some, well, I got the stuff to make. I'm just making all kind of, this is all over the place. Look, damn bags making noise. This ain't, we ain't structured. We all just trying to get by that today. Ain't no structure, ain't none of our lives. So what's up? Okay, anyway y'all, so I bought the stuff to make my little makeshift crock pot chicken and dumplings, which is chicken breast. This is like an impromptu grocery haul, but I don't got nothing but noodles, body armors, and stuff to make chicken and dumplings. Okay, yeah. So I got some chicken breast, two cans or three cans of um, cream of chicken soup, a can of chicken broth, and biscuits, because they're going to be the dumplings. Okay, so let me get this together, y'all, figure out what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come see you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make some freaking egg and ramen for breakfast. I probably will. Or if I just want to make some boiled eggs and sausage to try to get this, some protein in, y'all. Because y'all know how I am about my protein. But let me put all this stuff in the refrigerator and figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get back with y'all. 
All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and start on these easy, easy chicken and dumplings. So I have these chicken breasts in the crock pot. They're just like thin cut chicken breasts, and I'm going to season them. I'm going to use some garlic powder because you guys know it's like my favorite thing. I'm going to be heavy with the garlic powder. I'm going to use some Tony Sashes and pray that I don't die. Just a tad bit. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. So now I'm going to add a can of chicken broth and three cans of cream of chicken. y'all and so literally this is going to cook until the chicken is cooked and is able to shred so about three or four hours and then we're going to add our biscuits real quick simple easy y'all know how i do so now i'm about to go ahead and prepare my ramen i'm going to add some eggs for protein real simple and easy y'all because i can't taste shit anyway <laughs> that's just how we doing it today all right guys so i'm about to get ready to prepare my eggs to put in my noodles so I'm gonna put the eggs down first. It was just two eggs that I scrambled up. Let it fry a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the noodles right on top of that. As you guys can see, the egg is frying. I heated my pan up with some butter before I added it. So it's fried kind of hard, it's nice. Gonna go ahead and start to mix it up. I don't know why, but this really, really made me want like some egg fried rice, and my noodles are not combobulating with the eggs. <laughs> Look, y'all, they so separate. <laughs> why? Because my noodles are like in the doggone ball. All right, let me try to get these eggs in here. This just add a little bit of protein, you know, just a little bit, about 12 grams, about 12 grams. My, my noodles are really married. They are not fucking with these eggs at all, but it's okay. It really is, it's all going down. So it don't matter if it's in there, you want it in there, but if it's not, it's cool, as long as it go in your body. And that's basically what just happened because my noodles was all the way together. And I ain't mad, y'all know how I am. Anyway, I needed the protein, I got it in there, so I'm just gonna discard this, or not discard it, but put it in the bowl. So here are my noodles with my two eggs. I'm just about to take me some more allergy pills <laughs> and chill, rest. I wanna say that my freaking taste buds are coming back very, very slowly. I ate a gummy and I kinda could taste it, like a gummy bear, not those type of gummies. Yeah, like a gummy bear from Trader Joe's, I kinda could taste it. So we'll see. Um, I'll check back with you guys in a couple of hours to check on the chicken and dumplings. All right, you guys, so the chicken has been in here for well over three hours, y'all. My ass was knocked out sleep. Um, I would try to take this out and shred it, but I'm going to shred it in the pot because the chicken breasts I got are thin. So it really doesn't take much for them to fall apart. Like, as you can see, me just trying to pick it up, it falls apart. So it was no point in, like, trying to put it on a plate when it's falling apart. So basically, I'm just going to stir around, mess around. In, my, <laughs> in here with a fork and it'll fall apart i don't have to have it necessarily extremely shredded of course you just don't want like big pieces of chicken but as you can see like look how this fell apart so as you can see most of it's already begun to fall apart just off it being very very tender from being in here and me moving the fork around so i didn't have to put it on a plate like i thought i was going to y'all i wish i could taste this freaking chicken, y'all. I really do. But I can't test anything. And I have a freaking cough drop in my mouth. Y'all, all food deserves to be tasted. Like, it just do. I thought that me getting it like this, like, I wouldn't care. But that's a lie. Like, everything just really deserves to be tasted. Like, what is food? Even, like, the basic stuff, like those noodles. Couldn't enjoy them, can't taste them. Even if you have, like, a grilled cheese, like, you want to taste your food. Food is just here for you to taste it. But, anyway, that's it, y'all. See how simple that was? Now what we're going to do is open up these biscuits. 
and cut them up in little pieces and put them on top of it for like an hour boom told y'all simple easy freaking recipe for um um dang y'all can't even talk for chicken and dumplings y'all so oh i'm trying to pop it open like this i forgot you just start to peel and it just busts open i love this watch oh no it still says to press the spoon at the seam oh i thought i was just gonna open from that okay this is a knife but okay It pop open like a current of biscuits, y'all. I'm still silly, even though I can't breathe. Y'all, I have made this before years ago when me and Bear was first dating in my first apartment. And so I haven't had it since then. And I'm super duper sad because I love it. It's super easy comfort food that won't be comforting me. So anyway, I'm going to take my kitchen scissors here and basically just cut small pieces y'all can't see me down here but it's cool basically like these little small little pieces of biscuits you're just gonna put them on top these are your dumplings these are your dumplings that's that's all that is and you don't have to use the entire can but i am because i i like the little doughy part of course i would because i like bread so i'm gonna use all of the biscuits but you don't have to use it you can use as many or as less as you would like And you can make the dumplings as small or as big as you would like. It's just all about what you want to do. And again, we're going to put this back. It's going to sit on for like an hour or so. Game, y'all. I will come to y'all when it's time to eat. Let Bear taste it for us because I can't. Because wouldn't it really, really be tragic if like... The shit was nasty. It's not like I would know. <laughs> so I guess better have to let us know what it tastes like. Because not going to be able to help y'all in that department. So sorry. Okay, you guys. So this is our chicken and dumplings or chicken and biscuits, whatever. So as you can see, <laughs> the biscuits on top have done this thing. I don't know if you guys can see this one. I done bit off of because I couldn't resist even though I can't freaking taste it. Bear says it smells really good in here. I wouldn't know. So this is what it looks like. The biscuits kind of sit on top, but as you get into there, as you, it'll break apart and you know, you want the biscuits to be like submerged into the soup. So there you go. And this is what it looks like. Oh my god, does this not look good? It looks real biscuit doughy, right? <laughs> okay, Bash, you better move. Move, Bash. Here's the taste test, guys. Dunna, 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 dunna. Bear, I can't taste it, so you're gonna have to tell us what's up. It's good. Is it real good or? It's good. It tastes like chicken and biscuits. Yeah. It's good. Bash, baby, this is not your time to shine. This is not your time to shine. Look at you sliding. All right, y'all, before I eat my chicken and dumplings, I'm making some uh, apple cider, y'all, because it's a hard, hard life. So I'm just trying to, you know, basically have something, ooh, have something that's a little warm. So I'm going to brew some apple cider. Mm. And then I'm going to put it in my little black cup. But, yeah, here is my chicken and dumplings that I'm so, so sad that I cannot taste. And, y'all, when I tell y'all I'm pissed off, <laughs> I'm really, really pissed off. All right, you guys. So, here is my little warm apple cider. going to pour it in my little mug. And, yeah, that's game. So, if you're still here, y'all. Leave me a cussing emoji. The little red emoji with the exclamation points and stuff by his face. That's what I feel like right about now. Check out some videos from me here on the screen back when I could taste my food. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.